Hello, and welcome to my first attempt at recording gameplay with, like, my microphone and, in this case, my little Halloween-y PNG model. At the time that I am recording this, it is Steam Next Fest for October, and there's a whole bunch of demos that I want to play, and I am not going to have time to stream them all, so we're gonna try to get some in YouTube-wise as well. We're playing this game today, well, this demo, it's called Blue June. It is, I think, more of a spooky game than a horror game. I know it takes place in Canada, which is cool, because I'm Canadian. If I remember correctly, it's like the, the character in question is sort of trying to figure out her life, or figure out what happened to a friend or a family member. I can't entirely remember. I was just running through my discovery queue on Steam, picking every demo that I thought would be cool, and then going back through them, and decided this one still looks cool. Okay. Why? What? No camera. Okay. Okay, we can only... We can look there. Okay, we can only go... It's a side-scroller. Good to know. Why are we waking up outside the lab? I think we're on a university campus. One of these buttons is supposed to be sprint. Press A to interact. I don't recognize the street. That's not a street sign. That's just a sign telling you that there's a curve. Is there a single soul around this area? Okay, now we're getting cold. Okay. Well, maybe I can't sprint yet because it's a tutorial. I can't look across the road, so I hope nobody is coming in the other direction. That would be a very short playthrough. Okay, there's a police car, but there's also a crash car. Police car. This doesn't look good. Windows are pretty foggy. I can barely see through them. I'll be quiet around here. I better look for help. Well, if it's foggy, shouldn't that mean there's someone in there? Well, I can't even go and look and see if there's... I hope those are live people. Am I going to be able to go to that house? I don't think I can. No. It's freezing and I think I'm lost. I need to find somebody. It has not yet given me the opportunity to sprint. <laughs> I keep trying and we're just walking slowly. Wilson! Wilson, maybe there are people in this cabin. Let's hope they can help me find my way back. Sarah has given me the creeps. Better hurry. Oh, is that blood on the door? Open. Just open the door covered in blood. It's fine. And the blood that's all over the floor. Okay. Kitchen. This place reeks of blood. Blood is dry. Appears to be from some time ago. I mean, that's not the color of dry blood, but okay. I don't feel safe. Locks, but I think I could pick it open if I had something. Clock. The clock seems strangely familiar. Well, this is gross. Gross. It hasn't been clean in ages. Looks like this cabin might have been abandoned a while ago. I mean, there's power, so I don't know if that's true. Car key from the Rose Hill Police Department. Looks like an officer forgot it here. Alrighty, bye! Press Y to open and close June's inventory. We have keys. Can I try to open it? No, alright. Go up the stairs! Okay, mannequins are creepy. Notes. Date, 11 April. Where am I? What's going on? Here. <laughs> I just woke up in this place and I can't seem to find a way back. I'm scared. I met some people outside, but they're all strange and weird and these creatures at night. Where am I? Hell! I, I woke up right here as well. What's going on? Fucking creepy. Can't look out the window? Alright. Go down. Guess we're going back outside. Music just got creepy. It got very creepy. Where is everybody? I don't have a good feeling about this place. I guess we can... That... Don't like that sound. Can we drive the police car? Or is the police car going to be gone? This doesn't look good. So I have your keys. Okay, I've missed something somewhere. I guess I could try to go into the lab. Didn't actually try that because I didn't know which way I could go. But it looks like it's probably locked. No, can't go in there. Okay, now we've got in our inventory is keys that it's not letting us use. Unless maybe I have to select the keys from my inventory to try to get the door open. Okay, hey, creepy ass music. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come outside yet. <laughs> it's like we're playing a scary music, but you haven't done the thing to trigger the thing that goes with the scary music yet. I still have not been given the option to sprint. We have to make the slow walk of shame back to this cabin. The inventory. Use. I can't use this here. God damn it. I haven't tried to go in here, have I? That's probably why. 
But a strange looking lock, it won't budge. I'm confused. Did I miss something upstairs? Oh, more than one note. Yeah, okay. Nothing makes sense anymore. Last night I got chased by these. Neil from the cabin up north calls them the wipers. This is a zombie game that I wasn't aware I was downloading. I put a lock on the main door. Neil mentioned that the heavy metal should interfere with their brains. Not sure what day it is anymore. I was badly hurt last night by this thing. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm leaving the cabin for good. Neil, if you find this, please don't come look for me. I need to find a way out. I don't belong here. You know, there was something watching me in the woods. Interesting, whatever was watching me before is gone now. Okay, maybe I go to the police car and press use on the thing. And that's where I'm getting confuzzled. Inventory, use. Hey, car is empty. There might be something useful in the trunk. June Dunwell? What's going on? The report says my name. I, I don't remember anything. Driver's information, June Dumbwell, 19 years old. Dated crash, April 11th. So are those my notes that I'm reading? Because that first note was dated April 11th. Additional comments, car is completely immobilized. Driver suffered from a minor concussion. Total passengers in car with driver. Uh, passenger is a young female around the same age. She's in critical condition and unconscious, waiting for an ambulance and medical professionals to assist her situation. Okay, that's probably for the lock. What are these odd markings? I wonder if they mean anything. Nothing else seems to be useful in here. Hold LT to run. We learned how to sprint, let's go! Oh, what the fuck? Is that a whale? <laughs> the fuck? Ah, oh, there's a thing chasing me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Open. Well, that's horrifying. June can examine items from her inventory. Yeah, clipboard? Sure. Hey! So we can unlock this now. I gotta do this first. Use. Eh, there's the puzzle aspect. I know nothing about picking locks, though, so... your soul to the light. Sure will. These symbols make me feel uneasy. I feel like I've seen this one before. Yeah, I think this is your house, my dude. An odd-looking medallion. It's heavier than it appears. Is that everything? Yep. Okay, that wasn't there before. That was definitely not there before. Let's use this. Fits perfectly, but it looks like there's another piece missing. The lock's been disconnected from the door. Okay, so this is the outside door. Or the outside door, the door that goes outside. I'm afraid. Okay. Okay. Leap off? No. What happens if I press leap off? Would you like to take a leap of faith? Sure, let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna die. Burbs, we're gonna see another flying whale. There's a... Okay, for a second there I thought there was like a giant slug on that cliff. Or we're dead. I guess. Game over, you died. Ah! It was all a dream. I'd stand. Oh, I look so happy in this picture. I need to get my license renewed soon. Submit it for six months to remove stickers against the law. Brain pills. I can relate. My dream journal. Perhaps it's stupid that I keep track of my dreams. I've dreamt of this place multiple times now. It seems eerily familiar. I remember this clipboard from my dream last night. Shelf. My collectible shelf. It's empty. Closet. Closet. Uh, sure. We're in pajamas right now. Okay. We're in our adventuring clothes. Okay, so now we're in a dorm. Posters. Rose Hill Academy Academic Excellence Awards Ceremony. That's a lot of words. 
We are pleased to announce our 86th Annual Academic Excellence Awards Ceremony. We welcome all of Rose Hill to attend, as this is a great opportunity to meet those who have really helped shape this institution from what it is recognized as today. Principal Jay Watson has a warm message to share with you all. Many thanks to our incredible staff, and let's not forget our brilliant students who have given us their endless support and academic excellence all throughout this yet another incredible year. Special thanks to our research and development team and Mr. D. Williams. Date, 31st of June. That's not a day. Maximum one guest allowed. Location, auditorium, West Hall B, and someone wrote Ellen was here on the post. This seems to be a pretty big event for the school. I should probably go. Exam schedule. Need to catch up on my study soon. <laughs> Fuck this. Fair. If anyone has seen a green USB key, please return it back to Jonas Caller Texas number. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. What's that thumping sound? That's mildly disturbing. Can't get water? Rude. Floor two. Okay, let's go to floor three and see what's around. Open. Open. I don't need to use the washroom right now. Okay. Alright. Guess I didn't need to come to floor three right now. Go to floor four then, which probably also won't have anything we need. Okay, this is the party floor, clearly. Party. Shouldn't go in there. I barely know anyone from this floor. I'm also not dressed properly. Posters. Happy Valentine's Day party! Join us in the Auditorium Hall B on the 14th of February and experience one of Rose Hill Academy's most exciting party. Bring your crush, date, lovely boyfriend, or girlfriend. If you are single, don't sweat it. Now is your chance to meet the one. Maximum one guest allowed. Drinks available 19 plus only. Event starts at 9. Dress code fancy and sexy. Let's make this a memorable experience. Hmm, maybe I'll be the one there. This is the dorm, not a nightclub. I'm sick of the constant noise on this floor. People need to sleep here and wake up early. We are not all party animals. Turn it down, I'll report you all to the principal. Geez, some people can be so rude. This table is all sticky and gross. I can still smell the alcohol. I hope the janitor won't have a hard time with this mess. Thank God I'm on this floor. Reception. Miss Turner. Good morning, June. Is there anything I can help you with? Hey, Miss Turner. Thanks, but I I'm fine. You're late again for Mr. Williams' class, June. Is there anything bothering you? You can always talk to me. Thanks, I just overslept. I, I think it's my alarm it didn't go off again. Well, I'm sure that should be an easy fix then. Yes, I'll look into it once I'm done for the day. Have a nice day, June. Talk to these people. Cassie. Hey, June, is everything alright? You look a little pale. Aren't you supposed to be in class? Hey, Cassie, I'm fine. I just had one of those bad dreams last night. What? Again? Was it about the crash? Yeah, I just... I can't stop thinking about it. Well, you know what? The Rose Hill Academy Animal Event is happening soon. I think it'd be a great way to take your mind off things. What do you say? Yeah, I saw posters everywhere. It seems to be a pretty big deal. June 31st is not a date. We should totally go together. I heard it's supposed to be super fun. Yeah, sure. I hope it is. See you in class, June. Okay, well, what's over here? We came out facing to the right, so I'm assuming that's where we're supposed to go. I'm just gonna wander over here. Okay, there's a subway station. Good to know. We will, I guess, go to class first. Canada! That person's phone just... Just... Just hovering by their butt. Okay, science department. Now see, we woke up by a lab. Interesting. Polarity, want to volunteer for the R&D department and get, gain an extra course credit? Join us on an epic adventure to understand brain polarities. If interested, please reach out to Mr. D. Williams in SC-105 for more information. I should talk to the professor. I could use the answer credit. Open. This isn't my class. I shouldn't go in there. Alright. Why you give me the option? Uh, hi, I'm here. Sorry. My bad, professor. June, late again, I see. Hello, Mr. Williams. I'm sorry. My morning alarm has been going off. I'm not sure why. Okay, we just started the in-class quiz. You better get writing. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the brain research study that you posted. I might be interested to volunteer. I'll first need to perform various cognitive, how do I put it, various ex exercise or tests created by the department to see if you'd be a good fit. I'm confident you will be. Sure, that's no problem with me. Great, let's talk about it after your quiz. Would you like to write the test? Sure. Are we going to pass out? Is that why everything's going foggy? Looks like we might pass out or fall asleep or something. Oh good, we're dreaming. Or whatever it is that we were experiencing before. Okay, so I'll give him the option to leap off this time. What does that say? The end will lead your soul to the light. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere before. Okay. 
go through. Do I, do I want- I really don't want to. Gonna press B to tackle crouch. Jun moves quietly when she crouches. I don't have to hold the button, that's a beautiful thing. Fuck! Sneak into this one. What's this? Camera's watching me. I can't deactivate it. That's wait. It's just my reflection. Okay. <laughs> Reach me out for a second, man. I'm afraid that I just we came out a different door. Okay. Oh, the cameras are following me and everyone. Okay. This isn't weird at all. Check this one. I saw all the buttons. We're gonna crouch and then we're gonna enter. I don't really want to come any further. Enter there, I guess. Press all the buttons! Oh, am I supposed to be paying attention to those symbols on the wall? Because if I am, I haven't been. So I'm probably fucked. Okay, this is all the V room. Alright, okay, gotcha. Enter. Time to push more buttons. Oh, there's a light on now that wasn't there before. That light is off now. What? Huh. Wonder if I missed anything by. Which of these were all puzzles and I just didn't notice? Okay, so we've done one thing and I opened one light. We have to go back to these now. Great. In which case, I'm gonna go here first so that we're closer to the door if we have to run. Nothing is lit up. Okay, well now I'm confused. I don't know which way we're going here. Okay, so that's deactivated right now. Or we're supposed to light the other thing up first. No, that should be the next one we open. Because there's one, two, three. So this should be the next one we light up. Is this all part of this professor's test? Nothing is lit up! <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I'm assuming we don't suddenly have another light on over here? All the lights are off now! I love that for me! Okay, we have one lit up. We turned off the other light. I hate it here. I wonder if the dots under the symbols in the main hall mean anything. In the main hall, hold up. Yeah, one, two, three. And when I went into room one and activated the thing, the light lit up. I assume we've now got two lights lit over here, I hope. Or I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, okay. The door gonna be really loud. No, okay, that's good. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, there's the whole demo. If you enjoyed the demo, please tell your friends. For more info, visit tinydodo.ca. Canadian, let's go! Okay, so that was the Blue June demo. I thought that was cool. I'll definitely check it out again when it comes out. The puzzles are hurting my brain, but that's probably just me. I will link the Steam page for it below if you want to check it out yourself. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitch and all that good stuff. Okay, bye!